glad to see you again, builders. Today we'll demonstrate how laws and research will impact the way your city evolves. Since the last showcase episode, we worked on updating the lighting and color grading. All the footage you see in this video is from an older build, but let's take a short glimpse at how the game looks right now. We really hope you dig the way it looks. Feel free to tell us how you like it in the comments below. Now buckle up, we are diving into laws and research. To pass any law, a courthouse needs to be built in your metropolis. On completion, you'll get access to all available options right away. Laws are your tools to quickly react to something going on in your city and to make a full scaled and overarching decision. Quick rule of thumb, a law will either cost or generate money. You can pass or revoke them however you please. You're the mayor of the city at the end of the day. So let's get to it. Legalizing gambling, for example, would bring casino operations to your city and with them a shiny new stream of consistent revenue. But sadly, it would also bring a rising wave of crime with it. Is taking the cash and investing in a police station or two to outweigh the negative effect worth it? Well, that's your decision. You're the mayor after all. The ordinance on air quality forces your industry to raise their environmental standards, resulting in less pollution. Since a lot of production facilities emit pollution, a change of 15% on a bigger scale makes a really big impact, resulting in higher levels of citizen satisfaction and more utilizable residential space. But it will also cost a hefty amount of money to keep this ordinance in place. Is this a bad time to tell you that the cost of laws will scale with the amount of citizens living in your metropolis? Now you've slowly come to realize that laws are a pretty big money sink, but they are well worth the cost, since they can greatly influence the way your city is shaped. You could, for example, declare your city a nuclear-free zone, resulting in a ban for the construction of new power plants and the decommissioning of existing ones, in exchange for a bit of overarching citizen happiness. Pretty major decision, but you're the mayor in the end. Now you have the choice between less effective renewable energy sources or some based on fossil fuels that will cause pollution during their operations. Alternatively, you could research new ways of energy production. Put your research center down in order for your scientists to start working. To conduct research on new topics, research points are required. Those automatically accumulate whenever your city reaches a new milestone. Each milestone is tied to a specific number of citizens of one tier living in your city. Unlocking a milestone will give you access to new buildings, features and of course research points. Research is laid out like a branching tree. To progress further in this tree, you'll always need to unlock the corresponding branch of research on the left hand side first. Looking a bit deeper into the research tree, one topic that strikes the eye is road grid. Placing a road opens up new space for buildings. Always 5 squares deep, respectively 6 for super big roads. Unlocking this upgrade will add one more row of building space per street, allowing you to build even more densely. Having this technology available will entirely change how you lay out your city. At the end of each branch, mighty technologies wait for you to be researched and unlocked. One of those technologies is the fusion power plant. Wait, weren't we looking for a suitable replacement for the decommissioned nuclear plants? Fusion energy doesn't cause any pollution, is very efficient and would also not be affected by all laws already set in place. Time to savor the sweet fruits of scientific research by building it, giving our city a big boost in energy. Today's main takeaway is the strong connection between laws and research. Both influence each other in some parts or are inseparably interwoven into others. Research resembles overall progression, giving you access to changes to core gameplay features or major improvements. Laws on the other side are pretty cash intensive and more reactionary in their nature. That's it for this episode, builders. Thank you for watching this video until the end and believing in this project as much as we do. High Rise City is up on Steam and we'd appreciate it if it could get a place on your personal wishlist. See you next episode when we'll likely elaborate some more on overall progression.